Hey guys, so more assessment for learning technique stuff in this video. In particular, how do you do peer assessment? Um, and I'd like to thank Tom um, Gobber for this because he came up with the idea of using Padlet, which is a really nice kind of ad hoc way to do small informal assessments within a class and it makes a beautiful kind of display of children's work which you can share and stick up on your walls and those sorts of things. So to start with you're going to need to go to padlet.com. Now there's this is a paid for piece of software but there's a free there is a free version which lets you do a few like two or three padlets and it has a limit on the amount of data that you can upload but generally it's a good look and so um, sign up for Padlet and you'll get to a board that looks here. You can sign up with your school account as well. So there's a direct login. Um, if you're already logged into Microsoft, that's the way to, to go forward here. Don't use your local Gmail or things like that because it'll present, your, it'll present you to the children as the school presents you to the children, which is a good thing. So we've set up this Padlet and this is the dashboard and I'm gonna make a Padlet this is kind of um, one of the things that you kind of need to see all the way through before you'll get the use of it. So I'm going to make a Padlet. Now, you've got all of these different layouts. So you've got wall, canvas, stream, grid, and you can play out, play around with things. Timeline, map, awesome for geography and history. Um, and what that allows you to do is effectively placing content into a display. So kind of think of a Padlet, maybe as a big notice board that you'd have in your classroom that anyone could stick ideas onto. And so I'm going to be looking this through the view of, um, let, in fact, let's do a history example. Um, you know, I, I'm not a history teacher, but I have lived at various points in history. So I'm going to select this timeline. Um, and uh, I'm going to come, I'm going to place, I'm going to call mine ethical dilemmas in computing history. spell it correctly to start with. Cool. Um, and then I give them an instruction. So insert So to start with, I've you know I've come up with what I want them to do. I want them to, um, I want them to get a discovery or an invention in computer science, um, and also the dilemma associated with this technology. And then I can choose an icon, which I think is, um, they're really pretty. Um, you can choose your own. Um, so it's a tech one. So I'm going to pop in a little little uh, robot. Go back, and you can see these popping up here. You've then got a copy to clipboard the address. So at this point, you, you have a Padlet address. And I'll just show you that working. Um, I'm going to open up an incognito window and just pop that in there. So that's sort of like if I'm not logged in. Um, at this point, I have it. It's, it's obviously not updated the things that I've saved. So there'll be a need to save it down at the bottom, I'd imagine. Or not. Or maybe just I just need to click Next. Um, I can change my wallpaper. I can change the color scheme. Um, I can change my font. Um, you can actually add a picture for, for a given Padlet. So this produces something that looks really nice and is quite engaging and also will allow children to assess each other's contribution. So attribution, that's important because you don't want children just putting stuff up there and you not knowing who's done what. And also comments, that's where the assessment for learning comes in. Um, and then finally, reactions. So you can get them to like, upvote, star, or grade. And so this would be great if you've, even for something like grading essays, so you can say how many points do you think this is worthwhile? And children can put links to like Word documents or any of their other content that exists within the Microsoft suite. So with this one, I think I'm gonna do a, uh, a star. Um, and I've got the comments. You can, if you don't trust the class, 
require approval and then your job during the lesson is just to sit there and approve um, and then naturally you're going to filter profanity although I'd imagine that there'd be something quite severe that would happen to a child if they, if they did slip slip through that and then I'm going to click next and then it goes you're all set post to your heart's content gotta love that posting so start posting and so you've got this sort of empty empty area um, and I could probably start maybe I'm just gonna start with uh, the starting point 1960 um, and that would be the first mainframe computer computer um, caused okay so I've made something up there and then in here you can also what's quite nice add a little link to Google and you can search for an image so if I just type in mainframe it will bring one up hopefully wow that's punchy 1960s there yeah, that's better okay and that's slowly uploading nice and then uh, and then I can click off it hopefully um, and then you'll see at the bottom I've got these plus signs that I can add more things or, or a plus sign on the right which allows me to um, like dra drag files in and things like that and so if I look at the other view now just refresh that you'll note that what I've got there is I've also underneath it I've got this star rating so again I can rate these and also I've got the ability to comment which is great so what you've got here is a really transparent manner for all children to share their work with each other's and with add formal ratings and also add comments onto what they're doing. Now let's look at the alternative ways that we've got to do that at the moment within um, you know the tools that we've got available with a particular frame within the Microsoft framework. So how would I do this normally? I would probably get the children to make files in um, in Microsoft Word and then I'd either get them to place links to the files in the collaboration space of OneNote or I'd get them to use the files part of a channel and then go into each other's and go into each other's files and place comments on their work which is good but it's not quite as visible about what's going on because in order for me to look at what was going on I'd need to go into individual files one by one whereas here everyone's work is in one place and I think that that in itself is really powerful and also there's the ability for them to add their work that they've done in other areas by the sharing of a link which I'll demonstrate now so I'm gonna click off the comment and um, I'm gonna go back to mine and then in here I'm gonna click a plus and at that point I can add a link and then I can place a share link to a Microsoft Word document that I've made and I think that that again so you could allow the children to place all their ho links to all their homework now when you don't have a paid account you're you're limited to a hundred megabytes per Padlet now you're not going to exceed that if you use URL links because then the you know the we, you're not actually hosting that document you're just pointing to it and it'll live on our server if however you were to upload content like this um, and pick files at that point the size of your padlet is going to get quite quite large and so you really what you want to do is host on OneDrive and then link in so to summate about what's been going on and um, there's a thing called padlet it allows you to aggregate all of the children's work on a given topic or elicit ideas from them and then the great thing is that all users can comment on everyone else's work and so what it's facilitating is the assessment for learning technique um, known as peer assessment it's a great way for children to get feedback from each other and from you and so and also view each other's work and the lovely thing about it is one it's free on a limited license and two there's not a great deal of sign up and faff um, when you're setting it up 
So hopefully have a go Padlet, let me know how well it goes and please do send me any more ideas about how you can make your lessons more engaging and also facilitate snapshot assessments like assessment for learning. Thank you.